I assure you that I did not change the toning of this particular coin in Photoshop. This is a nickel grey Sacagawea dollar I'm convinced most of you haven't seen before. 2000p Sacagawea dollar struck on an Anthony dollar planchet. Another slip up by US Mint employees. Grey that means day 68 by NGC. Intense cartwheel luster springs boldly throughout the near perfect gem surfaces of this important off metal wrong planchet error dollar. The strike is sharp and crisp on both sides, with even tiniest of details fully represented. Low magnification reveals two light vertical die cracks on Sacagawea's portrait, both beginning on her forehead. The host planchet of the present rarity, a copper nickel clad Susan B. Anthony dollar blank, composed of an outer core of 75% copper and 25% nickel, bonded to an inner layer of pure copper, is no doubt from Susan B. Anthony coinage of the year 1999. This type of error coin came about when a leftover planchet intended to be struck for 1999 Susan B. Anthony dollar dies was actually struck by Sacagawea dollar dies. This is referred to as an off-metal transitional error and is very rare. Sold in 2012 for $16,450 at Stax Powers. Moving on to the 1922 Lincoln Cent with missing D and strong reverse. Grey that missed a 64 red and brown by NGC. Early on, the discovery was made that despite the mint reports that no Philadelphia cents were struck in 1922, they seemed to be available. Later, the riddle was untangled. Apparently, in the rush to coin millions of peace dollars in 1922, the Denver mint was ordered to pick up the slack on cents, but had to use the dies they had in the stock already. When one of 1922 D or worse dies clashed. The clash marks were ground off the die, which also happened to remove the mint mark. More cents were struck using two different reverse dies, one with strong wheat ears, the other reverse was badly worn and hence became the known as weak reverse. This coin is from strong reverse die pairing and shows no trace of mint mark. Faded mint red is found in protected areas with balance typically seen bluish brown. The surfaces are clean and attractive and with no distracting nicks on devices or fields. Sold on March 25, 2010 for $40,250 at Heritage Auctions. Here is another rarely encountered wartime error coin, 1944 Washington Quarter struck on a steel sand planchet. Clean coin with AU details, AU stands for about uncirculated. Weight of this bizarre coin is 2.68 grams, while quarter of that issue should weigh 6.30 grams. A highlight of the extensive mint error offerings in the John Whitney Walter collection. This piece exhibits a full date and clear mint mark area. The strike is flush to the lower obverse and upper reverse borders, all design elements that are present exhibiting sharp definition. The obverse is bright and satiny. The reverse a bit darker with light granularity and scattered oxidation. These are rare and they enjoy further appeal among specialists due to their association by date and planchet stock with 1944 steel sands and their more famous 1943 bronze sand counterparts. Sold in 2018 for $16,200 at Stax Powers. Here is 1942-1 Mercury Dime at mid day 66 with full bands. Other than 1916D, the 1942-1 is the best known key issue in the Mercury Dime series. It's slightly scarcer as a full band gem than its 1942-1D counterpart, and the overdid feature is much more dramatic. The die for this famous variety was produced sometime within the last four months of 1941. It was procedural to begin making dies for the new year as early as September and in late 1941 and into the following year the Philadelphia Mint was operating at full capacity to meet the economic demands of World War II. In 1942, more than 300 million dimes were struck, the highest mintage of denomination to that date. The coinage required numerous working dies to be manufactured. Whether intentionally or accidentally, two obverse dies were overdated. In late 1941, receiving impressions from different hubs during manufacture. 
Wanda was shipped to the Denver Mint and employed for coinage. The other showing more dramatic overdate was put on press at the Philadelphia Mint. The number of 1942-1 dimes struck at Philadelphia is unknown but the survivorship is just a tiny fraction of the total 1942 dime population. Sold on January 10, 2019 for $57,600 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on to the 1927 S Standing Liberty Quarter at Mint Stage 65 from Full Head Variety. Full Head is a grading designation assigned to Standing Liberty Quarters, which generally exhibit full strikes with complete design details. Broadly speaking, in order to receive this designation, details of hair must be well defined with a hairline along the face raised and complete, eyebrow visible and cheek rounded. The 1927S with small mintage of only 396,000 pieces is well known key issue in the Standing Liberty Quarter series and is actually scarcer in mint state conditions than the lower mintage, of which only 52,000 examples were struck. The 1927S is also one of the most weakly struck issues in the series as the full head representatives are rare in any grade. This highly elusive quarter was sold for $76,375 in 2014 at Heritage Auctions. Now this unique wartime error penny in 1943 Lincoln Sense struck on unknown planchet containing nearly 92% copper, 7% zinc and 1% silver. The copper scents of 1943 are undeniably famous. The present example is exciting as it's unusual. The legal standard for bronze scents leading up to the change to steel in 1943 was 95% copper, 5% tin and zinc. As the famous 1943 copper scents have long been understood to have been excellently struck on leftover bronze planchets of 1942, the expected composition of such an error should match the legal standards. As given above, the composition of the present planchet is not, however, an identical match. Additionally, the steel planchet used in regular production 1943 required greater striking pressure to execute the design, so the softer bronze planchets will be expected to be very sharply struck, particularly since these errors would theoretically have been produced at the beginning of 1943 when the dyes were fresh. This coin exhibits some softness in details, most noticeable at Lincoln's shoulder, and directly opposing the position of the reverse tie as well as Lincoln's head and near the rims to lesser degree. The surfaces are lustrous golden copper, a tone occasionally seen on other scents of this period. Some light spotting is evident on both sides, the mark of completely original surfaces. The L in Liberty is missing as you can see, also the upper littering are poorly struck. Sold in 2013 for $164,500 at Stax Powers. Moving on to the attractively toned old US coin, 1880 proof Morgan dollar at PR68 grade with cameo designation. George T. Morgan's iconic silver dollar design was introduced in 1878 and remained in production through 1904. A modified version was brought back briefly in 1921. Today the Morgan dollar is one of, if not the most widely collected sets in American numismatics. Color, contrast and preservation all come together with the Super Gem cameo representatives. Shades of blue at the border transition to glints of rose, violet, yellow, orange and mint green towards the centers on each side. Field device contrast persists through the layers of color. Close inspection under the loop fails to reveal any obvious or noteworthy evidence of contact. A spectacular proof in every possible respect. Sold on October 6, 2022 for $38,400 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1925 S Penny at Mint State 65 Red, top grade registry coin. Bold striking for this often poorly defined S Mint Lincoln with uniform golden orange coloration that is slightly mellowed from its original state. Only the beauty of Lincoln shows any noticeable weakness in strike, the reverse being unusually sharp. While not widely recognized, the Lincoln specialist knows that 1925S is among the most difficult issues in the entire series at the gem red level. 
sold on August 24, 2022 for $40,800 at Heritage Auctions. And for the last, I would like to show you this undated walk on labor half dollar at means day 64. Double strike half dollar with second strike 75% of center. A remarkable mint error on classic obsolete type. The first strike was normal, but the coin was struck a second time wildly off center towards 6 o'clock. The second strike effaces the date and states off from the initial strike. The large S mint mark makes it likely that the coin was struck during World War II. The brilliant and luster surfaces show only incidental marks. Sold on July 7, 2016 for, for $32,900 at Heritage Auctions.